Well, it's time to do some more videos on the E46 BMW, the 3 Series. I know it's been a long time. I've actually uh, thought about selling the BMW, but there is a lot of interest on my channel still on people wanting to learn how to repair things. So I'm going to keep it around for a while, but I'm going to tell you right now that eventually in the future, within the next year, I'm probably going to upgrade to uh, X5. Um, if you guys haven't watched me, I built a Jeep in the last while too. I'm kind of undecided on that as well. I like the Jeep. It's pretty cool. It's not... It's a good vehicle if you want to play around in the bush. But if you just want to cruise around the city and everything else, it's not really a practical vehicle. It's fucking hard on gas. But anyways, get off topic. Today's video, we are going to do rear spring replacement. And we're going to refresh in the rear end by doing new tailing arms and bushings. This car is a 2002. All the bushings and that are starting to crack and get old. So I want to beat the task before it gets too bad. So I'm just going to show you the parts and we're going to get right into it. Alright, there's the rear spring. Got a set of two. There's all your tailing arms and bushings. There's the tailing arms right here. Hopefully this is going to be a pretty simple project depending on how rusted everything is underneath. Not even a BMW video can be done unless we fucking drink beer. Doesn't matter. Every project fuck deserves a beer. And also because I want to drink it faster because this fucking Pilsner is disgusting. Can't believe I used to drink it and fucking I gotta get back on the PBR because that's fucking good shit. Well, the first thing we're going to do is remove the rear tire on the passenger side and then we're going to have a look and see how we're going to tackle the project. So before we get to removing the rear spring, best thing we're going to do is going to try to remove the shock bolt. And I'm going to get new shocks too eventually, but they're so freaking expensive, so I'm going to save that for a later day because the car is going to be parked for the winter and winter's coming soon. So we're going to pull this bolt out, lower the jack, and I should have it jacked up high enough that the spring should just pull out and then we could start working on the tailing arms and bushings. So the reason why we're changing the rear springs is that last coil is broken. If you can see right there. So it does come out without using spring compressor tools. Uh, I'm not saying it might go in the same way. There's a broken piece right there, as you can see. I just use a pry bar, but be smart when you're getting the spring out. You don't want to pry on your dust shield here or on your disc brake. Kind of use the edges of there. That helps out a lot. Um, just be creative. Don't be stupid. Be safe. So now I'm going to pop that broken piece off. Then we're going to start removing the bushings and putting them in one by one. So we got the rear arm loose. Bolt's taken out. Here's the bolt right here. And it uses, uses that special knot on the opposite side. So now we're going to, no light, no light. Now we're going to remove this one, drop the lower suspension arm out. Light's kind of bright, there we go. Now that bolt is a cam bolt and it uses a eccentrical, or eccentric washer. And the purpose of that is to set your, set your camber. So I know we're replacing the arm, but I'm just going to use that as a reference point when we put the new one on and uh, try to get lined up as close as possible. And there we have it, the arm's out, and the easiest way to do it is that you can spread it apart with your fingers to get it up and over the bushing. So now that we got it out, those bushings aren't going to come out nicely. So basically at this point you can spend 200 and some bucks plus shipping to buy a special tool to press them out but we're gonna go to Home Depot and try to create a jig that's gonna pry those suckers out alright to help with the removal of the bushings in the BMW I bought a ball joint remover kit so I'm gonna have to use this one of these days and um, I think there's a lot of parts in here that could come in handy for me if not, I got some ready rod here, bought some nuts and washers, and I got some sockets that would work as well to press those in and out. I also got a 
a sealed driver kit. The problem is with these is that I'm not going to sit there underneath with a hammer and fucking pound on it all day. That's not going to happen. I'm going to use it more as a press, so we'll figure it out tomorrow. It's night time and uh, I'll dream about it and figure out something. Oh yeah! Alright, so I got the old ball joint out. Uh, I did it late last night, so I'm going to have to show you again another video. Here it is here. But uh, I used this part of the ball joint kit and I use this cup as a receiver to catch it just like that and on the other end where the bushing's flat I use a seal driver and a nut just like that and I just kept tightening it and tightening it and sucked it out so we're gonna put the new bushing in up top but the way it's kinda cockeyed here we're gonna have to remove the rotor there in order to uh, get it in straight because if you start putting that ball joint in crooked it's gonna get fucking messy in a real hurry alright I finally found something that worked. I got a 36 mil socket on one side I got some stainless steel pipe on this side which is a little smaller diameter than what the ball joint is but not enough to crush it. it just sits on the metal part and was able to I got a bushing driver on this side and then my end of my homemade bolt and what I did is by having a wrench on this side and tightening this end it actually pulled it through but um, I did tap it in by hand first with a hammer just to get it straight and then I sucked her in so that part seems to work pretty satisfied with that alright so there's the ball joint in on the top um, I got a tool spread out all over the place because just trying to find a jig that's going to work is uh, poses a challenge in itself but once I figure out on this side how much of a pain in the ass it is and then the second side or the driver side will be a hell of a lot easier because I've already worked out the bugs so now we're going to drive the bush note from underneath for the tailing arm alright that's my setup I used and it's pushing out the upper ball joint in the BMW I just bent my my cover back and uh, put an impact on that. It's already pushing it through, so I just want to share that with you. And I'm just going to fucking yank it out and continue on. So for the life of me, this bottom one didn't want to come. I used this uh, ball joint press, and it just fucking forced that whore out. Man, these fucking bushings in the rear are taking a fucking long time they're just being a pain in the ass everything's so heavily corroded in and I gotta put one in in there and then uh, the one up in there and we'll see how this side goes alright so that's how I put the lower bushing back in I use the ball joint press and I'll try to get better so Pushes against there, driver in equally. I'm gonna remove it now. He's an impact gun. Had to bend the dust shield a little bit just to get this piece in, but not a big deal. So I'm gonna yank this out, see how even it is, and then kind of show you with the old one how it went. All right, so there we go. The new one's all pressed in now. Kind of pissed around, and I found a way that worked for me, so that's good. So now with the ball joint press, I'm gonna show you this one here. The opening for that is actually almost the same size as this, the diameter wise, so you don't have to worry about damaging it. And then I use this piece, because it fits up there, and this cup fits over top of that one. So basically, I'll just kind of line it up. So basically I'm going to push it in, it's going to go inside that cup, until I get the distance I want, and that's going to stop. I have, um, have that little jig. You're trying to use with this but when you're using a little bolt like that you can't get the torque that you do with like this one so that's a big deal with that so makes it a little bit easier so I got the two bushings in I just got that one to do now but that's all I'm gonna do for today this one side's taking a long time just because I've never done it before and I don't have the proper tool so this is what I mean by having the proper tools either makes or breaks the job I gotta make shit up so it's fucking beer time. All right, one of my fans, Steve D1202, said I should try this beer out. It's old Milwaukee. I got some. I got a six pack. It's even got a fucking little sailor pinup girl on there. Bonus. 
So we're gonna see how good this is. He said it was a classic, so we're gonna see. Fuck, not bad. Not bad at all. It's a tough call between that one and uh, Blue Ribbon. I don't know, it's a fucking pretty close call. Except this one's got a pinup grill, so I think it's a little bit better for now. Oh yeah, thanks for the tip, buddy. All right, to get the front pushing, there's a bolt there, one there, one there. I've already um, took the electrical wires off the front part of it. That way we could yank it off. It's kind of awkward to get at because it's pretty close to the ground, so I'm gonna pull that out now and drop this piece out. So once you remove those bolts, you expose the bush in there, and then there's a bolt that goes through it. We're gonna yank that bolt off, that cover's gonna come off, and that's gonna expose the bushing and then we're gonna find a way to press that out. So that's the setup I'm gonna try with my ball joint press. I got a big receiving end on that side to catch it. And then I got a small cup on that side to push it. So let's hope for the best. So I'm finally getting the bushing to come out now. And the hardest part was because of these rubber tabs that are sticking out, putting the bushing driver on top, didn't want to sit right on top of there. So when I started compressing it, it would just like slide off these ends so but as you can see just like that so before we install the new bushing I polished that all up inside there and of course I can't see it in this light I got grease on the bushing to help get it in and now we're gonna rig the ball joint puller and we're going to press that one back in so that part there is heavily beveled so it's not going to be that easy to put it in so use my bolt with a nut and some of the other little cups and stuff just to get it started now I can remove that put the uh, big clamp on her and push her in the rest of the way all right then with the cup and another cup I just pushed it forwards and pushed her back into place got the bracket back on now to bolt it up from underneath all right, that's all bolted up now. Now the tailing arm's gonna go back in. And it uses that special nut I showed you, but we're gonna crawl underneath and get that all set up. All right, I know it's dark, but here's this piece here. And this piece goes pointing up like that, and then you tighten it up with the nut on that side. All right, next part of the mission is put the spring back in. Everything else is tightened up the ball joint, detailing arm, that's all tightened up. Brake rotor and all that shit's back on. So basically we just gotta slide this back in place, put the shock back on, put the tire back on, one side is done. And then the other side, I promise, will be a little easier to do. All right, I know I read somewhere that if you just remove the rear shock, it's pretty easy to drop the spring out just by lowering the car down, but yeah, whoever said that's fucking bullshit, what I had to do, I found the easiest for me is they used a hydraulic ram and I jacked down the A-arm enough that I could uh, pop the spring in place. That seemed to work for me so now I'm going to remove that, put the shock back on and this side's done. Here's some of the tools right here, just the ball joint service kit. Without this kit, there's no fucking way I would have got those bushings out without having the proper tools. This combined with this and some other pieces that I had to fab up was the only way. If, you, um, if you're doing this job, if you got the money to spend, it's fucking worth getting the fucking proper tools to remove, you know, the bushings and shit because some people, depending on your car, they might come out easy. But where I live, we spent eight fucking months in winter. Uh, Everything gets corroded, everything rusts so fast, so when you do any kind of projects on any vehicles that have to do with like the bottom, it's fucking rusted hardcore and take and trying to get anything apart without a breaking is fucking impossible. So for me, this was a pretty challenging job. There's one part I didn't do. There was uh, the tailing arm on the driver's side. The rear tailing arm on the driver's side is, uh, it was a bitch of a job. I got fucking part of it out. And then the bolt wouldn't come out because it was hitting the axle. And uh, I did a quick uh, search on Google, actually a few searches on Google to confirm it. 
and basically the only way you're going to get the rear trailing arm out is uh, to remove the differential or take the bolts out of the differential that holds onto the uh, the frame and then push it back enough that you can get it out and fuck that man. I don't need to change it that bad. I, this project was only supposed to be a spring job and I figured you know while I was in there I might as well put all new bushings and stuff in there too but fuck man this is this is a brutal job so I'm gonna go take it for a spin come back fucking crack a beer and then uh, we'll talk about this. Fuck after that goddamn project. I need to drink some fucking beer. Anyways, that's it for that video. I wouldn't say this is an easy project to do. With the right tools, it would be a pretty easy project. Is fucking, without having the proper tools, you fight with it and fucking makes you angry. But if you're the kind of person who actually likes that stuff, then fucking give her. I'm going to leave the video at this. I don't know how it turned out because I was, it's a fucking shitty job so uh if you have any questions comments or concerns post them below otherwise check out my channel for more videos